We just got back from a four day, three night whitewater rafting trip in the interior of beautiful British Columbia. Three boys ages seven to 10 and two dads paddled the Kootenai River, camping, cooking, fishing, and enjoying everything this amazing landscape has to offer. Okay, we made it to camp, first night. That's cool, this is a good campsite here. Kylan, what should viewers do if they like outdoor mountain content? What button should they hit? The subscribe button. The subscribe button, right on. Nice work. One of, the, one of the best parts of the day when you're on a multi-day river trip for me is when I get the tent set up, beds are made, camps all established, kids are in the zone having fun, and sip a tea, crack a drink, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And then we get to enjoy until the sun goes down. We're gonna have a fire tonight. I'm looking forward to enjoying this campsite. I didn't even see you there. That's how good a YouTuber you are. That's dangerous. I didn't even see you. I should be on guard for these moments. Dinner camping, Gareth made an awesome stir fry. Tofu stir fry, look at this. There's home for the night. This is Gareth, and he has a ton of experience working with kids in the outdoors and going on expeditions himself. Anybody who's been on a river trip knows when you get to the put-in, there's a lot of faff. Faff, that's a British word, isn't it? Faffage, yeah. Faffage, but just, there's just stuff to unpack stuff that you're gonna forget. Keys, car keys to lose, and gear to pack into the raft for the next three nights. While all the faff is going on, we do dinner and cook. So we just got a little hot dog. Oh yeah, we got salad and chips too we gotta to bust into. And then we're gonna go rafting for three nights, four days. One of the things we both have in common is we enjoy cooking and eating well when we're on trip. A trip is always more enjoyable when other adults are camp savvy and make things more efficient and delicious. Pesto gnocchi. Pesto. What do you guys think? What are you excited for most? Fish. No, gnocchi, fish. fish, or cake? Fish. Uh, cake. We're gonna try not to get sand in our backcountry chocolate cake. So what do we need? What does it say? Heat oven to 350. So the oven's right there. We're, we're doing good. We got, we're on, we gotta go to this step. eggs. Now guess what I got for eggs. So we could have got real eggs and done the whole thing, but I did, uh, so we're gonna do like a little flax egg. So if we leave that there for a bit. What should we do with the box? We don't have recycling here, so what should we do with it? Hold the, hold the dish while you do it. Right. You can just feel it. it's like getting a little bit gummy and sticky. Uh oh, how much oil did we put in and how much water? Do you remember? No. no. Our instructions are right here. You can kind of. Ooh, it's uh, getting hot too. So we'll keep, there's the instructions. That's no good. Guesstimate. We're gonna have to guesstimate. Okay, you tell me when you think it's good. Now we got to wing, wing it. Ready? How much do you think we need? Mm, that's probably. You think that I should do the fox egg too? Oh, yeah. I just put a dash of water in here. Yeah, you gotta get all the dry spots. You've done this before? Yeah, I've done that with flour. You've done that with flour? Yeah. This is flour with chocolate it mixed into it already. Backcountry cake. Okay, keep going. All the dry spots. If you want me to do it too, I can take over. You're doing good. We burnt our instructions a little bit too early. Yeah. Alright? Probably should have done it at the end if we. I know, you're right. Well, another good day on the river. You, know, you don't have a bad one, do you, really? It's hard to have a bad day on the river. Day, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, here's the plan. We got a fire, we got a pan. I made a little 
spot here for the pan to go. I think that's pretty level. Okay. And we got a me. And we got an August. In August, what's beside you? Cake. Cake mix. We got backcountry chocolate cake happening here. We gotta see if we don't burn it and if we don't undercook it. We're gonna grease the pan. Oil is good enough for that, eh? Is it supposed to be butter or? Okay. Well, this is a cast aluminum backcountry, well, cast aluminum frying pan. It's quite, uh, it's my favorite thing to cook in. And you can also bake. I think this pan's too. We don't know the outcome of this cake. And that's. My, yeah, this could end up being like a burnt blob where only the top's good. It can end up being a gooey mess. And this is all part of the joy of... Mm. It's the adventure mm. of backcountry baking. I'm kind of killing this fire a little bit. No. I'm not convinced the heat on the bottom is going to be enough here. Pretty good. Well, we don't need to that's, I think that's all we, all I can do. Like, I think that's all right. Like, I, I think this sort of cooking is always going to be a little bit hit or miss, right? Of course it's going to be hit or miss, so, so but I want a hit. Don't beat yourself up I want a hit. We might get a hit. Don't get stressed right now. So our chocolate cake's been on, in the oven for 25 minutes, as Gareth <laughs> correctly pointed out. Baking like this is often hit or miss. So we're gonna see how bad we missed. It's basically the, uh, what we gotta do here. So we're gonna clear off all the ash of the twiggy fire. What do you guys think? I smell it, that smells like cake. Oh, it rose. That looks like cake. Maybe you can, like get a just, Let's see, guys. I didn't smell burning. Just, just have a listen to it. That's just gonna sound funny, but listen to see if it's still hissing. Let's see, this is always listen to Guys, cakes. guys, there's no batter on that. That is perfect. Whew. This is it! No, we we might look, look at this! We missed! Guys, no, we look missed. at this! We missed! It's perfect! I think this is the best one I've done in a while. It rose to the whole height of the pan. It's even. It's pretty even, and yeah. the middle the middle didn't... I wonder how how burnt the bottom is. Uh -huh. There's no hissing. You listen to, seriously, listen to your cakes. And if it's hissing, it's still if cooking? It's hissing, it's still, if it's bubbling, it's still cooking. We don't look at it yet. Is that okay? Yes. Keep going. <laughs> so cool to watch it. Is that oh, cool? Yeah. Okay, we got a problem. Why? Too much popcorn. You'll take one? Nice. Look at that. It's a cake. Well, it came out looking like a triangle. Good, 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 good. Good, it's good, good and it's okay, a thousand August? billion more goods. Mm -hmm. You got a chocolate cake on the on the river tonight. Mine tastes a pesto. <laughs> it's nice, but it tastes... 
taste that? Mm. Mm. Kylan, how is it? Awesome. 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 Mm. A rarely used adjective in North America. <laughs>